And now it's time for another Dice Tower review with Tom Vassell. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Melody. I'm Amy. I'm Polly. And today we're taking a look at a, well, kind of a game, Escape the Room Mystery at the Stargazer's Manor. Now, uh, escape rooms are a very popular thing these days where you go somewhere, they lock you in a room for a certain amount of time with another group of people. You have to figure out puzzles and ways to get out of it. This is trying to bring that experience to a game. You are going to try to open this box and find out everything in the game. Now this is a one-time playthrough. We've already played this together. You can see here uh, as we were playing this. We're going to not spoil it for you, hopefully, right? Right? Um, so uh, this came, we just wanted to tell you our experience. The game had a certain length of time. Uh, that it takes to play it. I think it's uh, two hours was what they gave us to play it. Um, but we took shorter than that. No, it's not. And there, there, it, was, it was about two hours to play. But we played it shorter than that. And we won! Yeah. Woo! Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the difficulty of the game. This is a game that's a bunch of puzzles um, that you have to solve. How hard did you think it was? It wasn't that hard. I thought it was pretty simple and easy, um, but some parts they were a little complicated trying to figure out each puzzle. But other than that, I thought it was simple. Okay. Melody? <laughs> um, like, it wasn't that, like Amy said, it wasn't that hard. Like, there were some puzzles that were, like, frustrating because we couldn't figure it out, but we figured well, them we out. Well, we did figure them out. So. What'd you think? It was pretty easy and hard at the same time. Most of them are hard. Some of them are easy. Do any of you think you could have solved it by yourself? No. no. Okay, and 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 it was. Uh, uh, if 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 you were planning to play this with like some other adults, I think it might be. It would be entertaining. I don't think the level of difficulty is there. I think I could have done most of it by myself. However, there was at least one part in the very beginning where there was a very obvious thing which I just was like, what are we looking for here? I think I might have found it eventually, but they found it. And in fact, all of us at one point or other found something that other people didn't find. Yes. The puzzles themselves are spatial puzzles. Not all of them, but most of them are spatial puzzles. Uh, think of things uh, where you know, you're putting pieces down and trying to put them in the right shape, things like that. Um, do you like that kind of puzzle? What about you? No. Not as much? No. Okay, Holly? I love these. Uh, well, why, why, why do you like or endure not like them? I can't figure them out. I think they're like sort of simple and hard at the same time, and they're like a fun thing to experience. What did you think about the story in the game? Sometimes it was boring, sometimes it was exciting, sometimes it was in between. <laughs> no, you didn't like the story? What about you? It was the ending was okay. I liked the ending. The boring I wasn't paying attention to. Mm. I like the story. I don't know what these guys are talking about. I like the ending. The ending was, the ending was fun. That's so boring. I thought that the story was gonna get super creepy for a while, but it didn't. But I wondered. I thought it was gonna be like something terrifying. In but... the beginning I thought it was like a murder mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyhow, uh, what the game is, is there's a bunch of envelopes in the box. All right, I'm not going to show them. I'm just, here's the back of one of the envelopes. And you are trying to open up these different envelopes. You uh, have a, 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 a puzzle-solving code wheel thing, which you have to get the game to see how it works. And you have to figure out, first of all, which envelope are you getting in? Um, how do you get into it? What's the right thing to do to get into that? When you open it up, you might find things that work later on. There are different pieces throughout it that work towards the end. Um, there's multiple endings to the story. Not too many, but there's some. Like I think there's four, four maybe? Like four, yeah. We got the best one. Yeah. Yes. All right, so now let me ask you this. What do you guys think about the actual experience? Did you like doing it? Yes. 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 Because it was fun, like trying to solve it and then like going through. It was just a lot of fun. 
it's a fun experience to do with your family. It's really fun and interesting. And if you work together, you can get it done really quickly. Hi. It's really fun for my age because you can find simple ones that are easy and some hard ones you can notice that like your simple and harder oh. things are on there. Well, the I game does... <laughs> You're right. The game does re reward observation. Now, the game says three to eight players. I think we played with four. Us four we played. Yeah, I think so. Because more people around a table just would have been really crowded. And eight, I, I, just the puzzles themselves, even with four of us, we were like, let me see that. Let me see that, you know. Mm -hmm. But the game, it was kind of fun. I'd be like, hey, Amy, you work on this thing. You you put that together and but you do that was, puzzle. Like, I think... Um, like, if you were to do, like, an eight-player game for this, it's like you have to do multiple puzzles at one time. But for us, it was, like, one puzzle and then the next puzzle. Yeah, but I think I don't know how you can do it any other way. I think you do the puzzles one at a time. Anyway, that's my only thing about the game. I really did enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. We got to work together. We were laughing and talking and being silly and Loving getting into the other. story. I was the, uh, care the caretaker. And you were... Miss Cardinal. Lady Jane. Lady Jane. Maud. And Maud. <laughs> Maud is a wonderful person. And if it hadn't been for her, we would have died. <laughs> there was one shining moment. Sir. Everyone had shining moments. All right. What do you guys one. rank the game as? Nine. Nine out of ten? Eight point five. Eight .5? Oh, ten. ten. Okay. Well, here's where I'm at. Uh, for me, gameplay itself was like a seven. It was an enjoyable, fun game. Except the experience of us playing together... That's a 10. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best things I've done all year. We had a really great time. I really look forward to the next. There, there's a sequel to this, or at least another one in the same series. Um, so when that comes out, we are going to try that out and play that. And just have, man, we got to be together. Everyone had their own moment. Holly said, well, what about that? Amy would be like, well, what about that? Melody would be like, let me solve this. And we all would <laughs> work together with some people trying to do more than others. Um, but it was fun. I thought the story was good. The art was good. The puzzles were cool. The way everything worked together to the end. Just a good job. Highly recommend it. It's a one-time thing. Which makes it not a 10 for me. Oh, okay. Well, you know what, though? That's the thing, though. The money you spend for this is less than the money if we all had gone out to see a movie. Yeah. And this was a really fun experience. To me, very comparable to going out and seeing a movie. And better than most movies anyway. So that's Escape Through a Mystery at Stargazer's Manor. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Melody. I'm Amy. I'm Holly. And you've been watching The Dice Tower. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching The Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.